right here I shake it off, and then that'll give me mitigation for this part. This should keep me alive. Or not. Hey everyone, welcome to the Weekly Links. Today I just wanted to play some Warrior. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna play some Warrior, okay? Let's get into it. Now this video will contain spoilers for the new 5.3 trial, so if you're not interested in watching the 5.3 trial or getting spoiled, then here's a disclaimer. Make sure you head out now and I'll see you guys in another video. But uh, yeah, it's also, it's really funny how I joined this PF. Uh, people are still like massive spamming for uh, strats inside of the, the PF here. So you can see like, please read Meteor Buddy, blah, blah, blah. Like, Here's all the strats you could possibly make, like literally everything. Farm buddies, so like, oh my, God, look how many freaking words there are in here, man. There's so much. People just need to, like, we need to come up with one strat, okay? Listen, my NA friends, that, that PF, come up with one strat that just, like, ex explains everything. Let's just call it that, okay? Let's just call it, like, PF strat, right? Like, let's do this trial, PF strat. I don't know what we have to do, but I know that the answer to this is not writing out entire paragraphs of mechanics, okay? We need something that's uniform, and we need something that works easily, okay? Just come up with a strap, please. All right, man, we're gonna ready check up. I'm gonna pop some food as well. We're gonna get into this bad boy, the big old warrior of light. Yo, this, this trial is easily like my favorite trial in years. I really thought he was like difficult to prog. Now, obviously as a trial, it's like, it's not too bad to farm, um, but during progression, it was a lot of fun because it took a lot of like memorization of the mechanics that were happening and i think that's great especially because of the random nature like the fact that the there's different like order of mechanics that can happen i think adds a lot to the replay value of this fight uh i think ff in, in its history or this game specifically in this in its history has been very like scripted and exactly what's going to happen in a fight and i think the reason i love this trial so much is it's kind of random like you don't really know what's going to happen there, there are of course certain mechanics that like yeah okay i know how to do them but as far as getting you know black mage dark knight summoner ni like ninja like it's all different and it's awesome i love the fact that this fight doesn't have like a, a scripted exact uh rotation of what's going to happen especially the second phase onwards right now the first phase isn't too bad um but the the second phase onwards is really really fun uh especially because of the fact like i said that it's, it's just kind of random I'm gonna put up a rampart here, put up a big uh, big equilibrium. Dang, that was a big 55k equilibrium. I really don't know when to pop my cooldowns for auto attacks here. There's only like one tank buster per 67 years, so popping your cooldowns for autos here is definitely like worth it, but I just don't know when the string of autos is. So it was what? I didn't, I didn't look. I think it's spread, then freeze, and out. Okay, spread, freeze. I'm gonna get my upheaval off, and I'll move out, and I'll wait here, do one little tomahawk just for fun. Okay, we're good. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, trick attack is up. Will I get my inner chaos inside of it? Maybe. Oh, I did. Nice. Okay, inner chaos is in trick. Perfect. Mm -mm. Sword of light. Here we go. So this is the corner thing. The way I'll do this is I look north and east. Okay, so I, I look at two corners, and then I determine if those will be it by the lines going across the entire side. So I know it's not east. It can be north. And now I know it's not north, so it is south because it doesn't have a golden line, right? The golden line on the edges of the arena is how you know what's not safe. Also, I wasn't paying attention to that person, and I used my upheaval early because I was too busy talking, but it is what it is. Oh, uh, this is side stuff. I'm over here. Okay. So our rotation got a bit scuffed because I was too busy explaining the mechanic, but that's just the nature of uh, talking and playing a video game, I guess. Sometimes you got to sacrifice your, your brain power to talk, which is okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put up a upheaval first, and then we'll do the inner chaos here. So, da -da -dun. nice inside trick. Cool, imbued saber. Here we go again. So, the first one was out and spread. This should be stack in move, right? Because it's a complete, like, opposite of what was the first time around. <clears throat> so, yeah, so it's move around. It should be stack first, and then this will be an in. Yep, easy clapper. That one's, like, it, it's... It's really easy to tell what it will be, because, like based on what happened first, uh, since it's always a direct opposite. And then the Tank Buster should be coming up here soon. Now this is a uh, Tsukiyomi strat here. I have to delay my upheaval here so I can realign with my inner release because I used it early, and you know that's just the way uh, I'm an idiot. So, anyways, <laughs> anyways, get ready to mitigate this here bitter end. I like to use uh, Thrill and Vengeance. And then I will save my uh, raw int and rampart for the adds phase. Now you see, like you could use a nascent flash there, but my equilibrium was up. So if I didn't get a heal there, 
I would have just equilibrium. I'm going to move out a bit here, like over to here, so that they get full melee up times. Very nice. Somebody got damage. Oh, somebody did get damage down. What the hell? Anyways, put up a shake it off, put up a reprisal, because then this is AoE damage. Not going to reapply my eye, because it will get reapplied by inner release. <laughs> Man, I love New Warrior. Oh my god. I love New Warrior. Man, I just love it so much. We should get all the claves off here, and I am on the east side. This is actually my first time doing east side as a tank. I've been west side for basically every single time I've done this. Uh, I think my eye will drop here. Maybe my my decision to not eye was bad. Yeah, my eye's gonna drop. Oh, no, 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 it should be fine, right? Oh, last second reapply. Okay, that should be good. You don't have to move this guy very far. I only move him to this this second line here, and then that can give, uh, you know, that, that gives, like, nice little uptime for, for the for the ranged players, or if melees want to get, like, a dragon tether off, then they can go uh, not too far away from each other. Which is always good. Uh, I'm hoping I'm north here. I think I'm gonna be north. Interrupt that. Some people ask me where is my silence. My silence is actually on a hidden hot bar. Uh, I obviously have silence bound. Like you won't see it on this hot bar. My silence is there. It's just like I said on a hidden hot bar. Mm -hmm. The only thing I have here is raw intuition, which is actually fine. It might not even. I might not even need it. Wow. Okay. So yeah, you don't need too much mitigation there because uh, Warriors has infinite healing. I'm gonna evoke off this guy so he doesn't die. I'm gonna get some heavy auto attacks here. I might use Thrill depending on how much healing I get here. Oh, we got a Benediction. Okay, we're all good. Blade of Shadow here. Do I want a Thrill? Eh, it, I won't die from it, so we'll be okay. I parried it as well. Let's pretend I'm a Dark Knight. There it is. The LB timing in this phase right here is so weird. The LB timing on, on like this mechanic is, is very, I don't know, it feels weird because it's not immediate. Like, you would want to LB, like, right now, but this is a bit early, I believe. You want to use, like, here. I think we, we once did an LB um, where it was right as the, the LB3 filled on his bar and it actually didn't hit everyone. Like, like half the people died because, you know, LB goes down one by one. I'll just go up. Cool, so we're going to do a cleave, inner chaos, and then IR. And then I'll use my, uh, my nascent flasher to heal myself during that. Always want to pair up your nascent flash with uh, with heavy damage, right? Like using a nascent flash on a heavy swing isn't really going to do much, but uh, if you if you pair it with fell cleaves or IR or inner chaoses, then it does way more. Put inner chaos inside the trig attack. It's going to be ninja, okay? So I'm going to be northeast, and then the way I do my arm's length here because the, the PF strat seems to be um, uptime here. When the when the orange AOEs detonate, that's when I arm's length. So I use it now. Arm's length here, and that will land on the knockback. So you can see knockback coming. Didn't touch me. So that's the that's the timing I use. If you guys are gonna do this fight, use that timing as well. It's really, really simple. This is in, and I think it was stack, right? We'll see. I'm gonna move around just in case. Or not move around. Doesn't matter here. I don't know why I thought there was gonna be a fire rice there. I'm just an idiot. Reprisal this because it's AoE damage. We got a shield sombo as well. And a faint. Oh baby, that's a lot of freaking mitigation. Thanks for the faint for those auto attacks. I appreciate that. <clears throat> My favorite mechanic here is Summoner, just because nobody knows how to do it. Like, every time we get Summoner in PF, it seems like somebody doesn't know how to do it, which is really funny. Um, it's always like, uh, okay, who's gonna mess this time, this one up this time? But I actually like Summoner a lot. Summoner, when we were progging this, was, was like... I had to figure it out on my own, it was really difficult. Okay, Quintuple Cast, this is my favorite mechanic here. So it's move, stack, spread, move, stack, spread... Fire, and then I Move, stack, spread, fire, I I should get my IR off here. Move, stack, spread. I'm going to actually heal through the freaking fire because I'm just... I'm. Let me see. Okay. Ooh, baby. Wait, I got, I got damage down. No! I was too busy. I was too bit focused on... Uh, oh, let me do this really quick. Okay, it can be east. It's east. It's east. It's east. I was too focused on... <laughs> I was too focused on what's it called on uh on getting my my melee uptime my IR uptime that I actually got damage down. Dude, I'm so bad at this game. Anytime somebody tells you I'm good at this game, just tell them that, just show them this video where I'm not at all. Mm -mm. Big inner chaos threw that damage down. Yolo. Should I put a fell cleave in it? Yeah, I will, because that'll drop. Perfect. Okay, so it is what are these black mages? Oh, this one's really easy. Uh, I think we go tank first, right? Like, tanks should be together. I think so? Or am I with this guy? Uh, let's see. I, I, don't, I have no idea where I'm supposed to be here. I'm gonna go south, because no one's south. So I'll go south here. I, I don't think I'm supposed to be south, but I'll go south. 
The way PF does this strat is like, oh, it's it's random every single time, I swear. Every single time I do this, it's different partners. Some people some people do tank healer, some people do uh like your your cardinal partners, some people do I don't know, like one, two, three, four strat. I'm give that guy a nascent thing because he's gonna get hit taking damage. Okay, we got an inner chaos inside of the trick attack, and then we will put wait, what? How is this at 15 Hello? How does this not have a duration? Anybody see this here? What what was that? That 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 trick attack lasted 17 days. What what just happened? Am I high? There's no way that was real, right? What was that? Uh okay, well anyway, it's gonna evoke off this guy. We have a lot of deaths here, but we should be fine. Especially because we're gonna get an LB3 soon. We should get that melee LB3, which is uh the damage check in this fight isn't too bad. Is this gonna be Is this gonna be summoner? Oh I really hope so. I love summoner. Okay, so it is fire after. People are gonna die to that. I'm gonna type in chat, fire after. Mm -mm -mm. And my big old summoner. Okay, so I believe tanks, healers grab tether first. I'm not sure. That's the way I've seen PF do it. Again, PF always has different strats for everything. Okay, it looks like they're gonna do DPS first. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it seems like DPS are gonna be first here, which is fine. And then I will grab, what am I grabbing here, this one? Sure. Oh, I, f I failed the Confidior. I should have stayed in melee for the Confidior. That's fine. Dang, only one person died. That's actually really, really impressive because usually in PF, like everyone dies there. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, we got that guy on the right and then it's gonna have to be an out. Unfortunately for that me melee LB person, they should be stuck in there unless they got out in time. If they got out in time, then feels good, man. I almost got killed by Pyretic. I actually forgot about it. I typed it in chat and forgot about it. <laughs> Why am I so bad at this game, dude? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Big IR here. We should get an inner chaos after this as well. Maybe get a second inner chaos. I'm gonna hold it until the last GCD I possibly can. Put up two negations. Throw up a shirk whenever the boat comes in. Yeah, we'll get one more inner chaos here, and then that'll be the end of the fight. Perfect. And whoosh. Very nice, very nice. Doing onslaughts, use all my gauge, and enemy down. Okay, so we had a few deaths there. It was a bit of a sloppy kill, but it was a kill nonetheless. And we got the song. Can I win this? 41? Probably not. You know, I don't even have my Shiva weapon. I'm actually using the weapon from this instance, but there it is. Uh, I think we're going to move into soloing Sephiroth Extreme. I, I, I told my stream last week that I would solo Sephiroth Extreme, uh, and they didn't believe that I could do it. So I want to go try and solo that really quick, and then that'll probably be the end of this video, guys. So let's move on to the, Shep the Sephiroth Extreme here. Okay, if you don't know why Sephiroth Extreme is a hard solo, there is a mechanic in the second phase that can one-shot you no matter what you do, and there's an RNG where you need to get a certain color. It's a 50-50 coin toss. So there's a 50% chance that your that your pull can just be over because you got the wrong buff. Also, there's a mechanic that one-shots you no matter what you do. It is impossible to not get one-shot by it, and you need to home gang through it. So the reason it's difficult is I need to save my home gang until the second phase, but there are mechanics in the first phase that can also one-shot you so there's just a lot of damage going out, but I promise you, no matter what, I can kill this boss, okay? I promise. It's going to take a while. You might want to check the timer up here, but we can do it. I've, I've studied this. I've stratted it out. I have math. Um, we're going to do our best, okay? So I can't pull a Tomahawk here because it actually throws my GCD behind by one, and that's enough to, to not skip the one-shot mechanic. So we have to run in with Sprint, do a heavy swing, and immediately go into our opener from here. Uh... I should be able to skip the second jump. So for those of you guys that know the mechanics here, the, the double jump that happens pretty quickly into the fight also happens a second time through the first phase. But we want to skip the second double jump. And you'll see what I mean by that uh, pretty soon. So this first part here, not too bad. This is standard, just boss does damage and tank busters and Final Fantasy boss design is the exact same every single time. And then, okay, so here we got to move him to the open spot. And then you'll see what I mean. Uh, with the double jump here. So I have to do a shake it off, a thrill of battle, and that'll get me to 170k plus the, the shield here. When he jumps on me, I should reduce it all, and then I died. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh, this, is a, this is a hard solo. You basically need to play perfectly, but uh, I believe in myself. I can do this.
Okay, I actually forgot. The way I was doing this the other day was I would wait for the, for the first jump. So I thrill a battle here, equilibrium, wait for the jump. When the jump lands, right here I shake it off. And then that'll give me mitigation for this part. This should keep me alive. Or not. Okay, now I remember what I was doing. I had to use Vengeance. So I went sh Thrill of Battle, right? After the first jump, we're gonna put a Shake It Off early. That should, like, tick it there. Okay, we got that, and then a Vengeance is up. This should keep me alive. There it is. Now quick, use Equilibrium. Oh, okay. And then we will do a, huh. I'm gonna overcap here by a little bit. Or we're gonna drop our eye, I guess, and then we'll overcap ourselves up again this is a tank buster but we should be fine with no mitigation mm, i want to save my uh my rampart a bit so yeah as you can see this boss does some heavy damage but uh it is doable you just need to play perfectly and then we will wait here we got lucky with this spawn and then we're gonna go into a thing we're gonna go behind and then inner chaos should heal us up a bit perfect we need another fell cleave in there, get more healing off, and then we'll go into our eye. Last second eye. Uh, I have, what, 15 seconds to IR, then we'll do it. We'll double up our eye here. Should be fine. Another tank buster here. This is the one I want to rampart because I am low on HP a bit. And then we're going to go straight into our IR as soon as possible, and then equilibrium off cooldown. We should be skipping the, the second uh, orb phase here. I cannot get another jump here, so we have to push the boss. And we skipped it. Perfect. So that is what we want. That is exactly how we want to do this. Uh, now we have to kill the Vinas extremely fast, because these guys put up uh, a ton of... I don't know, they do this cast that actually really, really hurts. The Kakmas here aren't too dangerous. We don't really want to worry about them. We want to kill the Vinas as fast as possible. And then if I do get some damage on me, I will have to use Thrill of Battle, but generally I can save it for the second phase. <laughs> okay, we'll kill the Kakmas a bit more. See, this guy puts up a magic vuln, and these guys have a magic cast, which actually hurts really, really hard. That's why uh, when you were doing this fight when it was current, you actually wanted to use different tanks for the Kakmas and Venas, because the Venas do a magic cast, and then the Kakmas put up a magic vuln. So, yeah, if we get hit by a magic vuln or a magic cast here, I mean, it's like 20k uh, from each cast, which is it's heavy. So, there it is. So we got everything down. Uh, just finish off the Kakma here, and then we will be on phase two now. Phase 2, uh, you can only live through Phase 2 if you get an orange buff. If you get the green buff here, you have to wipe. It's over. You cannot stack inside the tower. So, we have gone to the second phase, but it's not over yet, okay? We are now on the 50-50 coin toss. Let's hope we win the roll. And here is the, the really cool transition on, on Sephiroth. This transition reminds me a lot of... Or, the, the Titan in E4S transition reminds me a lot of this. Because this was the original, right? Like, look at that. Look at that, big boy! He's a big boy. Uh, the shake it off should be late here, but we'll find out. That was fine. <laughs> okay, so he will give us a buff here, either green or orange. Green is a white. It is just not. It's not possible. Uh, it is not possible to do this with the green buff. We can only do this with an orange buff. So please, please give me an orange buff. I pray to you, give me orange. And we got orange. Okay, perfect. So we go to the orange side, and then we take a tower with vengeance. So we're gonna put vengeance up here. Uh, we're gonna take some damage here because we're on orange side boom not too much and then we go into the tower This is the tank towers, but we're missing one and then this is the mechanic. You'll see we have to home gang All right, so I'm gonna home gang after the first hits me right here should be good One two three four heal myself up. Oh, I actually healed too early. Uh We should be okay, right? <laughs> we should be okay, right? Should be okay. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Okay, whoo! Alright, that's the hardest part of the fight right there. If you got green there, it's just, it's over. You, you don't, you don't get to do this. Uh, now we have to mitigate this with a reprisal. I don't really have to stand anywhere specifically, but uh, the Earthshaker does hit a bit. And then we can go into a Inner Chaos here. And then reprisal, or not reprisal, what am I saying here? Heal myself with Inner Chaos. Woo, baby! We're taking some damage! Oh, baby, this is a hard solo. Okay, we're fine though. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing way better than last time. Uh, this side, I have to use a, a shake it off here, mitigate myself. And then, okay, so this is the little orb there. We have to knock back to the corner. I'm going to use an arm's length here. Does this work? That was it. 
I just wiped on the clear run. <laughs> that was it, dude. <laughs> Come on, man. Okay, go again, dude. Go again. I'm actually gonna potion here just for fun. We'll potion up. Man, I can't believe I just wiped on the clear run. We got the perfect RNG. We did the home game. We did everything perfectly. And we lost because I'm an idiot. I thought I could arm's length. Nope, no arm's length for me. It feels good, man. It's fine. I actually don't want to mitigate early here. I, I used a vengeance last time, but because we're going to home gang so early into the fight, it doesn't really matter if I use any uh, mitigation here. So let's put up a eye into inner chaos. Please give me orange. Please give me orange. Please give me... Yes! Perfect. Okay. So we go to the orange side, and then we'll get a tower. I'm not going to mitigate just because I'm in a home game, so I don't really need to. I will save this inner chaos, though, because I need to heal myself later on after I home game. So we're going to save the inner chaos charge here. Go into an eye. Oh, I have to do this like based off the, the noise right here. Okay. One, two, three, four. Heal myself up. Not healing early this time. We should get way more healing off this time because I didn't heal early. And we have so many cooldowns available. Yep, very, very nice healing there. Go to the right side. Okay, this this should be it. We got really nice healing there. We did the home getting nice. Okay, everything's perfect here. Wait for the little bring and then we move. Move over. Very, very nice. Okay, I need to do my knockback here well. If I don't do my knockback here correctly, I'm gonna avenge this because I did a lot of damage last time. And I'll need to heal myself through it, right? 26. Oh, no, no, no. We don't need to heal at all. Well, we will do this for fun. Hey, nice. The Vengeance lasts into the tower. Very cool. Get a few damage downs here, but it doesn't really matter. Go to whatever side you want because you don't have a debuff. It's fine. And then we have to do our knockback here. So I'm going to move like here and then go to here. This should be good. Very nice. And then we go to the right. And then we go... Uh, I'm just going to go through the down here yeah use a clap okay use inner release the, the knockback thing should be coming soon right i think so isn't there not the not the knockback the knock up should be coming soon uh we're gonna kill ourselves with the equilibrium here and an inner chaos so boom big healing boys warrior is powerful and then, every you don't need anything. I'm going to save a uh, Thrill and Shake just in case something happens. But we should be good to go here. I'm going to go orange side because I feel safe on orange. But it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, we should be able to clear this right here. This is the knockback. So we need to get close. He's going to throw us back. We'll get two ad spawns near the start here. Or four ad spawns. Oh, I thought it was only two. We'll do some AoE. And then I was going to put up a, a rampart. You guys going to go for a rampart there. But we didn't even have it. Alright. And blow this guy up. Make sure we're in a tower. Over. This is where I will use uh, Shake It Off. There's one last Bina here. I didn't even see the Bina. Oh, we have to kill the Revelation. <gasps> I forgot about this thing. Oh my god, I almost wiped those. No, wait, I did wipe us. No! I failed. I failed. I forgot about it. Oh my. Okay, next run. Next run. You know what? I'm going to cut to phase two right now. Yeah, I bet the people that say this isn't possible on stream feel real stupid right now. I bet you guys are eating your words, stream chat, saying you can't solo this on Warrior, you need to play Paladin, you can't do this on Warrior. I bet you feel real dumb right now, huh? Yeah, you feel real stupid, don't you? And I got green. Okay. Well, um, maybe I can do this if I just don't go into any towers. Maybe I can just let both towers explode. Uh, let's try it. <laughs> we just don't take a tower. Easy. Woo! Ow! That hurts a lot! Homing now. Not going early. Two, three, and four. Very nice. See, the problem with getting green is you get four bones here as opposed to only two because both the towers are exploding. Uh, that's the big issue. It does just... Oh my... It does so much damage. Uh, this was a wipe on stream when I was doing this. I just... I, I literally couldn't live through this. But maybe... Maybe with my newfound power, gaining god status, uh, I might be okay here. Let's let's try it. Four volns is a lot, especially for this phase right here. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, 9k, 8k. Ah, oh, my health bar. Oh. Okay, we can go into this one now. We can now go inside. Oh, it does so much damage. Oh my god. If I get past this, dude. 
That's crazy. Five Volns? There's no way, right? Uh, I'm gonna go... I have to go here. And then go here. Okay. Um, why are these spawning in such weird locations? I don't really know. Whatever. We're gonna go north. Okay, we dodged all those. Now we IR. Should get a little bit of healing here. A little bit, a little bit. Okay. Five Volns, though. Five Volns definitely not ideal, but might be okay. Uh, we did do really good on our healing here. We're going to reprisal this, put up a, a, a Vengeance here. This is going to do quite a bit of damage. Oh, 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 my health bar. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. All right. And then we should get some healing off here. Nice big inner chaos. Six Volns. Six Volns. Yeah, that's rough. Okay, this is gonna be rough. This is a mega rough. Um, we okay. As as long as I kill the ad here, we should be okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run over, overpower these, then use that on those, and then I'm gonna go back to the words here, and I will use a a chaotic cyclone with one of these healy buttons, and then go over to the tower. Don't miss the tower. Hit the boss again. I got a damage down, which is fine because of the tower. Yep, yep, yep. Heal myself up a bit. Make sure this thing dies this time. I don't want to troll. Okay. Go back to the boss. Woo. That was a phase and a half, boys. That was a phase and a half. Seven Voln stacks. Uh, we're doing really good. Can we collect all eight? If you don't know, they actually nerfed the amount of Voln stacks you can get now. I believe the cap of Volns you can get in the game is now eight. So, uh, yeah. We're going to go back to a little stack yuppie. Get knocked into the air. Yahoo! Yoshi's Island, Mario Party, Yahoo! Okay, and we'll have big healing here. Uh, we're gonna go straight into the, the IR. I'm not even gonna wait at all. I don't wanna get any damage downs. I wanna get my entire IR damage off. Do my big fell cleaves. Big old healing. Full HP. Give me orange. I got green again. Okay, this game hates me. Um, this is now the damage check. So if I don't kill it here, we're kinda screwed because I don't have home game. Actually, wait, we might be okay. We might be okay. The Volans are down. I can mitigate through this. The stacks here won't do any damage. Actually, might be better to get green. Hmm? Maybe. I'm going to put up some mitigation here just in case. Yeah, maybe green's not too bad because this... Oh! Maybe green all along was the, was the necessary evil. Wow! Who would have guessed it? Hey, there it is, dude. There it is. Hey, green actually see and I thought it wasn't possible with green and of course we get paladin weapon Don't even I don't even want to see paladin eh. I'm playing warrior. Okay, you can solo this as a paladin easy mode, but as a warrior that takes some skill All right, that takes some skill. Uh, yeah, dude, that was awesome I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here take my thumbnail picture. Uh, I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you guys so much for watching Um, this was a kind of like a stream challenge that that happened uh, and we're moving the TWL series from Thursday to Saturdays, as you probably noticed, it's uploaded on a, th on a Saturday. Um, and that's because if you guys are watching this right now, I'm probably streaming! I stream from Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. PST. Make sure to check it out. Link down in the description. Thank you guys. I will see you on the next one. That's all I've got for you today, friends. If you liked this video, leave a like. If you didn't, a dislike. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with my content. And check out my Patreon if you want to support me further. Follow me on Twitch for live streams, Twitter for tweets, and join my Discord to engage with me directly. All links are down in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.